Sim. Sim. That's drunk. Here's another Super Scope game for you. It's Bazooka Blitzkrieg, and if you think that name is a bit much, the Japanese edition was simply titled Destructive. Yeah, check out that cover art. Now that's what I'm talking about. Unlike previous Super Scope games I've covered in recent weeks, Bazooka Blitzkrieg is a tad bit different. While stuff like Battle Clash, Metal Combat, and Yoshi Safari primarily centered around one-on-one -on -one boss fights, Bazooka Blitzkrieg is a side-scrolling and sometimes vertically scrolling gallery shooter. Sure, there's boss fights here, but most of the game has you taking out robots and stuff as you automatically scroll through each level, kinda like T2 the arcade game. You even get robots that jump right up in your grill, just like that game. You get one big health bar, and Unlimited continues to get through five levels. The first level has you slowly cruise down the streets while making a bunch of robots go boom. The second level has you out on a highway shooting motorcycles and helicopters before a giant ship straight out of Contra 3 comes down to attack you. Level 3 is back to slowly scrolling along shooting robots. Man, you move so slowly here. I'd like to think you're shooting from one of those motorized grocery cart things. Level 4 has you moving vertically up this tower, shooting even more robots and helicopters and level 5 is, you guessed it, you're back on your sit-down grocery cart firing away at somehow even more robots before you get to the final boss. I should mention quickly that, yep, this is another game where you can only use the super scope, no controller or mouse support here. There's two default weapons. One is a machine gun that comes with unlimited ammo, and it's usually reserved for protecting yourself from projectiles. And the other is a missile launcher, but you have a limited amount of those, so you gotta save them for bigger enemies or for boss fights. You can also pick up items like bombs and a protective shield, but this is one of those annoying games that also punishes you for collecting everything, since there's some items here that do damage to you, like T that stands for toxic waste. What, do these robots all work for the Springfield nuclear plant or something? There's two game modes, the Blitzkrieg mode is just the regular game, progressing through five levels, and boot camp mode allows up to four players that take turns, pretty much just doing target practice for points. In other words, it's nothing too fancy. What's weird about this game is the visual presentation. For some reason, everything just looks washed out, like this game was left in the sun too long or something. I don't really have any explanation as to why the colors in this game look so faded, but yeah, what you see on the screen here is how the game really looks. I suppose you can always mess with your TV settings to make it look better, but come on, you shouldn't have to do that. One thing I do really like here is that it's not just enemies that go boom, everything goes boom. Glass windows, beer cans, trash cans, street lights, street signs? Hey, the more explosions the better, I'm all for it, even if it makes absolutely zero sense. So yeah, there's really not much else to say about Bazooka Blitzkrieg, there's not much to it. But I will point out this funny bit in the manual that says to consult your physician if you experience lingering discomfort from using the super scope, which includes your shoulder, eyes, neck, arms, or any other body part. I mean, geez, am I playing a video game or helping someone build a barn? Don't get me wrong, this game is fine for what it is. It's a short and mostly harmless playthrough. I do wish the boss fights were a little more interesting, but eh, the exploding street signs kind of make up for for it. Still, getting this game instead of Metal Combat or Yoshi's Safari is like your hockey team's front office saying, you know, we wanted to go after Curtis Joseph, but we settled for Tim Shevelday instead. Now, Tim Shevelday wasn't bad, but he was a backup most of his career for a reason, and Bazooka Blitzkrieg is in the same boat. It isn't a bad game, it's fine, but it's firmly behind the other decent Super Scope games, which, you know, isn't really saying a whole lot. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.